Kev, thanks for joining us. First off, pleased to be back for pre-season? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's good to be, to be back, get ourselves fit and get ourselves ready again. Um, it's good to be back with the lads now and get last season out of the way now and concentrate on this one. Mm. How's your summer been? Have you had a chance to sort of refresh and get it out of your system? Yeah, yeah, I think that's all I've done. Went away with the family and uh, um, get your mind right and it's work time again. How important is it to get everyone's minds right, as well as their bodies, for this pre-season campaign? Yeah, I think that, as you say, I think that's that's the main thing. I think, I think you could be, you got to be quite careful in how you come back this season. I think whatever happened last season, whether or not you get promoted or you don't, I think you got to get out of your head and you got to concentrate on the season at hand because it, it can be quite dangerous if you don't. Mm. Obviously, it hurt at the time. Did it? How long did it hurt you for? Are you still feeling it? Or? Yeah, I'm still feeling it. I'm still feeling it. Um, every time I close my eyes, you relive the game and. But it's something you've got to get over, and it's something um, that t as a team we've got to get over. And I'm sure once we're back with the lads and, and you know back with people that are in the same sort of predicament as you, you know, you'll get over it a lot quicker than you. I guess there's no reason why you can't use it as a motivating factor as well, isn't it? Thanks. Yeah, I mean, I think you have to. I think I know it's a, it's a cliche, but you've got to look at Brentford, and they they got the same position as us last season. They was just as close as us, and, and they didn't do it. And then they came back the season often even stronger so I think you've got to take a lot of positive from last season I think. Mm. A couple of players departed, one in already, bound to be a couple more. Is it How important is it for the senior players like yourself, do you take it upon yourself to help welcome them into the group? Yeah, it, it's, I mean when I was a young boy it was, it was their duty now so I'm the only pro. It's, it's, I think it's down to me now to make sure we are, as we was last season, a, a group and we're all together and we're all pulling in the right direction. Stuff. And also, I guess you, the fixtures came out recently. Did you have a look, much of a look at those? Or <laughs> yeah, I had, a, I had a quick glimpse, and um, it is what it is, isn't it? We, we knew there's was, was a lot of away games this season. There's a lot of up north games. But as a team, if we stick together like we did last year, I think we'll be right, and I think um, we'll get through, it and hopefully we'll be up there again. Mm. First year since you've been, I think we'll be starting at home first day of the <laughs> season. How important are the O's fans? Obviously, with this right towards the end last year, going to need them again, aren't you, from the work? Yeah, I mean they're going to be. They're going to be massive for us. I think, I think the whole club's got to keep their feet on the ground and realise a lot of teams are going to probably show us a lot more respect than they did last year. So um, it might be long-winded games now, and it might be a lot of nil-nils or one-nils because I think we're going to we've gained a lot of respect from a lot of teams. So um, I think the crowd has to be patient, and and so do we as players.